Martian is the new annual Ridley Scott movie. That guy has got to be like 80-something. He's cranking out one movie a year. That is ridiculous. Him and Clint Eastwood, too. Man, those guys are fast. Especially with Christopher Nolan taking a three-year holiday. Thanks, dick! The Martian's based off a book. I haven't read it, and I could not care less if it follows the book at all. So there's a mission on Mars. There's people already on Mars. And then there's a storm coming. They're like, we gotta go. And then Matt Damon gets hit by a thing and gets left behind. Everybody goes because they think he's dead. And it turns out he's not dead. So I'm going into this movie completely 50-50 on whether or not it'll be good. And it looks like Prometheus with the cast of Interstellar and the color orange instead of blue. And people cannot grasp the concept of a good movie. Everything is either amazing or shit. That's what The Martian is. It's a good movie. But oh my goodness, it's not that good. Plot-wise, a lot of it is Matt Damon sciencing the shit out of her, and that was like a really lame line too. But on the whole, I felt a lot of Matt Damon's humor actually it worked really well. And whenever it's not Matt Damon doing sciency like MacGyver stuff to stay alive on Mars, it's everybody on Earth trying to figure out how to solve this. And watching the people at NASA go through this problem solving is very interesting. And watching Matt Damon go through problem solving is good, but I feel a lot of the bad things that happen to Matt Damon are clearly manufactured. Like there's a part where a thing blows up and it's just like, why did that blow up? That, there was no reason that should have happened. But initially it seems like all the good people on the crew, like you got Jessica Chastain and Kate Mara like on the, on the crew, they seem really wasted at first. It's like, where are they in the movie? You might as well just cast no-name actors for them, but they do become bigger near the end. She would tell A.G. Ofer, I would say, is the standout performance. Matt Damon's good. I like Matt Damon, but she would tell A.G. Ofer, or however you say it. He's the guy from 12 Years a Slave. Uh, the guy from Serenity, 12 Years a Slave. <laughs> Jeff Daniels is also a very serious, intimidating head of the CIA, which he kind of always, or CIA, NASA, which he kind of always plays whenever he's not in Dumb and Dumber. It's the same thing. I gotta say, I don't know what it was about this movie specifically, but the 3D hurt my eyes. Do not see this in 3D. I don't know. My allergies have been acting up, as you might have seen. But, so, that might have, it hurt, it hurt my eyes, I'm like, what is going on? And there are no, like, special good 3D effects anywhere, it's just, Mars looks nice, it's a deserty place, it's, Mars is a very beautiful place, but the music didn't really add anything, it's like, is Mars this planet trying to kill him, is this just barren wasteland, it's, like, I gotta say, you don't really get any serious intensity out of Mars, being on Mars, all alone, it's all just funny and jokes, you know what I'm saying? I don't know, I don't really even know what I'm saying. Ignore that. Ridley Scott's usually very good with the use of practical effects and CGI, and that was all- It was neat! It was neat. Everything worked, but nothing- There was no standout spectacle thing. Like, Sunshine, Gravity, and Interstellar are all miles ahead of this movie in terms of, of music and cool space stuff. I mean, it's The Martian. It's a space movie. We're supposed to see space stuff. It's just kind of NASA stuff and math stuff and survival stuff. It's not really space stuff. Granted, it's a lot more realistic, but it's- I don't know. It's space. Like, I want more from my space movies, I guess. I'm gonna bring up The Last Days on Mars. It's not a very good movie, don't get me wrong. But I, the music, the tone and that feel of Mars was much more ominous and I felt it was a lot more effective. But it ended on such an eerie note, or it, it hit me way better than anything in this movie did. Don't get me wrong, it was still a good movie. I was happy I saw it. It was just not, it's, it's just, we're still riding that six, seven range. Guys, I gotta say The Martian is worth a seven out of 10. Thank you for watching. I'm Wesley Thompson. Like, share, comment, subscribe if you'd like to join the crusade and crush evil beneath your bony little heel.